Okay guys, in this episode I'm going to be showing off the uh, the trim tool uh, to do editing. The, the uh, To understand the trim editing, it helps if you understand the previous uh, episodes of Ripple and Roll, at least because that's the functions. Those are the functions that the trim tool uses are uh, kind of quick access uh, tools to both the Ripple and Roll Edit, a little bit more advanced version of the Ripple and Roll Edit, these tools over here. Uh, but it does it in a trim window here. The way you do that is, first of all, you want to get to an edit that you want to you want to trim, and you do that by either grabbing your playhead and moving it around, or you can use your arrows up and down to go from edit to edit. Uh, down goes to the right, up arrow goes to the left. Say we want to edit this uh, right here. I'm going to hit J and rewind a little bit. K to stop, L to go forward, and look at the edit. Notice this edit right here. Watch the window. It, it mismatches a little bit. She goes to stand up there, and now she's already half standing up there. <clears throat> so this edit is mismatched a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump right to the edit, land right on it, and then I'm going to hit just the letter T on my keyboard. That's the shortcut to bring up the trim tool. You'll notice what it does is it selects uh, both edits down here. The way you can tell that both edits have been selected, you see this red uh, line right here that selects both edits, so it's going to be operating off of both edits. If you want uh, just one edit, uh, if you want to select the edit to the left or the edit to the right, if you're doing ripple, you just go up in this trim window, deselect those edits uh, by clicking on either the left one or the right one. And you'll notice it puts this line around the window. And notice down here, this has changed to a yellow um, selection, and, to the, and it's point, it has these little nodes kind of pointing off to the left, meaning that it has selected the edit to the left. Now watch what happens when I s click the one to the right. Notice it changes directions. That's important to know because you need to know if you're editing uh, both clips or the right clip or the left clip, and this that's way of that's way of indicating uh, which what you're doing here. Uh, if you select both clips by going in the middle and clicking, it, notice it selects both clips, and you have both of them selected, which is kind of this bold red line going through both clips that are on the edit, and we're affecting both of them. Okay. Um, from here, what we're going to do is what first. So that's the first thing you want to do is you want to say which one. What do I want to edit? Do I want to edit this, this, or both of them at the same time? Uh, in this instance, since she's already standing up here, we're going to show you kind of a basic. We're just going to edit this one right here. I'm going to click on the left window, and you'll notice as I hover over each one of these windows here, as I'm, you'll notice I've got a little ripple tool icon right here. As I move over the left window, as I move more toward the middle. It turns into a roll edit tool. If you click, it's going to select both, and as I move over here, it turns into another ripple, but affecting the clip only to the right. <clears throat> but this one I'm going to change right here. I'm going to move that. I'm just going to extend this clip until she starts to stand up and try to match these two edits here. So I'm going to move over to the ripple tool uh, icon. I'm going to click with my mouse and drag to my right to extend the clip to the right until she starts standing up and it looks like they are matched. I'm going to let go, and when I let go, it has extended this clip and has done a ripple edit and shoved everything else out without affecting these clips here. So now as we play through it, just start, just move down here with your playhead and start playing and it will get rid of your trim window. And now she stands up. That matches a lot better. So I'm going to go back to the trim window, land on the edit, hit T. Notice it's just got the edit selected to the left. Uh, let's show you the other tools. So it, once again, if I move over this window, click and drag, it's showing you how many frame by frame how many frames you're changing it. Change, drag it to the left. It sh it uh, in, shrinks the clip. I'm going to undo that. Drag it to the right. It extends the clip. Undo that. Control Z or Command Z. Now if I move over to the right window, same thing. If I want to grab this and move it over to the left, it'll extend the clip to the left. And notice it the clip grows, it extends it out, and does a ripple edit. Uh, if I do it the opposite direction, it will shrink the clip and do a ripple edit and pull everything else, keep everything else in sync after that. I'm going to undo that, two undos. Um, it shows you the time code here that you're changing. It also shows you down here in these little icons here uh, how many frames you're, you have changed your edit by. Right there it said I uh, added, or, or I went forward into the timeline, plus 30 frames there. Uh, if you go the opposite direction, it'll do negative 19. I went back 19 frames into that clip. So it shows you the results after you click and drag. Now that I've got this matched, once I said, well, like I said before, the uh, ripple tool does well to match shots, and the roll edit does well to uh, change where you want the edit to happen once it's been matched. So I'm going to move it into the middle, and this roll, 
roll icon comes up. <clears throat> if I click, it'll grab both clips. Notice it highlights both clips, highlights the edit down here. And if I drag to the left, you'll notice it's changing the timing of the edit. Uh, of the edit. Both clips is changing simultaneously, a roll edit. So if I want to change this to where she starts to stand up right there, let's play through that and look at it. Now the timing's a little different. Or if I want to, I'm just going to hit T. If I want to go to the opposite direction and stop the edit, start the edit where she's fully standing up, let's take a look at that. So it just changes where the edit happens. I kind of like matching on action. It's pretty standard. Um, so let's do this. Now I'm going to show you some shortcuts. So maybe about right there. Let's give that a try. So now she stands up and it performs the edit and that looks pretty good. Okay, a little more on the trim window here. Uh, some shortcuts. All right, uh, these little tools down here. You can apply a, a transition, a, a dissolve, and a um, and a crossfade on your audio there, if you wish. Then it will do this little dissolve as it, as it occurs. Uh, I usually don't do that to the last step anyway, but so I very rarely use that in the trim window function. But these things are the things I want to talk about here. You got your negative one, uh, negative five, plus one, uh, plus five. What this will do. Uh, depending on what windows are selected. Right now I've got both edits selected. So this is going to trim forward. This will do a roll edit one frame at a time. This will do a roll edit five frames at a time. Uh, this works better, I think, if you're using um, your shortcuts, which will be option, right arrow. Uh, uh, and then if you do the shift, remember option, or if you plus the sh add the shift on that, it does it at five frame advances as opposed to just one frame at a time. <coughs> Same as negative. If you do an arrow left, it'll do negative. So right now I'm going to be performing a roll edit. I've, I'm in my trim window. Let me do this again. We're just going to arrow over to my, um, my edit, hit T for the trim window, hold down option, and I'm going to arrow left. And you'll notice what's happening here is it's roll editing to the left. Look at the timeline, look at the window as I do this, and it's shrinking one clip while lengthening the other. If I hold down Option Shift and do arrow left or right, it'll jump five frames at a time and do it a lot faster. And if you simply hold down your arrow when you're holding an option, hold down your arrow, it'll sit here and kind of do it jogging forward, just this little stuttering do, 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 as I hold down the arrow. Um, and that's with both edits selected, and we'll show you the result right there. Now, if you just want to perform a ripple edit and use the shortcuts for the same uh, function, you can just click on a clip. Say, I just I want to shrink this one or lengthen this clip. Click on it, and now you hold down Option, and you can arrow left. This way you can really fine-tune it. This is where the trim window comes in handy, is when you're really fine-tuning things and getting on the exact frame. Let me do my right window here. What I'm going to do is get this matched up with my roll edit, I mean my ripple edit. I'm going to get it right where she's just barely standing up, where her hands are just barely leaving the couch there and match this one as well. Click on this one and option arrow to the left to get her in the same position. Right about there. Perfect to the frame. Now let's give this a try. And it looks great. Matches really, really well there. So that's how you use your trim tool uh, and your shortcuts to match, uh, to match and to trim. Uh, once again, I'm going to jump to this edit, hit T, and now you can just do option uh, I've got this clip selected, so it's just going to edit that one. Option to the left, and see now it's mismatching, so I'm going to bring that up to where the can is in the same place. Arrow right, right there, and play through and see if it matches. And there we go, and it matches perfectly. So, um, all right, we'll see you next episode.